Well, three years ago, I introduced you to a 16 year old Caldwell girl who was tearing up the Idaho boxing scene. Today, she's still doing that, but adding the rest of the country and parts of the world to her list, all while touting the fact that she's a product of the gem state. In this week's Made in Idaho, I revisit with Caldwell's own Alyssa Mendoza. Last month, Alyssa made history. At Youth Nationals in New Orleans, she took down the number one nationally ranked female fighter in her weight class, not only earning her a spot on the USA Youth National Team, but becoming the first female in Idaho history to do that. All the work that had gone through previously, like the four years, and then a whole bunch of like personal stuff that went on, and just a whole bunch of stuff like flashed through my head, and it was just so many emotions. Alyssa Mendoza was riding high in 2019 and early 2020, but when COVID canceled several big events, the punches started landing a bit harder for her. And then when I went to go requalify to get my spot again, I lost and I got third place. So I had been working to get back up on top and it took me about two years. Two years of losing close battles to fighters out of a certain state. We knew the decision went our way and it didn't. And, and literally, I mean, it's just hard to beat Texas. <laughs> okay, but in 2022, Alyssa told herself and her dad that this was their year, and then it was full steam ahead. We need to train harder, we need to run more, we need to do more rounds and stuff. The more and more disciplined I became because I felt the passion to get better and better and better. And oh, did it pay off. In July, I won the first, my first nationals in like two and a half years. I hadn't won forever. It was a really good feeling to get another national title after not winning for so long. And then I went to Golden Gloves in August and I fought five times in one week. And it was a whole, it was a crazy tournament. One tournament after another, Alyssa was dominant, but early December would bring her back to the national championships in Texas, not only for a chance to qualify for the U.S. international team, but a chance at redemption. There was one specific tough fight, really, really tough fight. It was my semifinals, and that was a fight I fought the girl that I had uh, lost to previously twice. She's really good. She's a world champion, actually. It was about for the ages that she says could have gone either way. I was really nervous when the ref was holding like both our arms and you know they announced who wins. I was pretty nervous because I had no idea who had won. And then when they said red corner, I was red corner and yeah, it was pretty emotional. That was In the red corner, Alyssa Mendoza! With that, Alyssa will be headed to Colorado Springs next month to train with U.S. national team coaches in hopes of being selected to be on their international team. And while this is just the next big step in her Olympic dreams, she always gives the credit to her longtime trainer that she calls dad. For me, it's just to make sure that I can be there for her. Because truthfully, she's the one that calls in the ring. I don't, you know, it is true, you know what? And this tight knit made in Idaho family is always proud to let people know where they're from, even if they don't know anything about it. It is, it is more and more amazing because we beat some, some people and then and, and they wonder to say, well, where are you guys are from, Idaho? Where's that? I mean, literally, it's like, Idaho, dude, you know what Idaho is? No, well, other states are next to it. You see this? I love the state. <laughs> This is, this is home, so I, I even have a pair of socks that I like to fight in that are the Idaho flag. When I think back to here, I'm, I hope to make my family proud. I would, wouldn't want to represent any other state other than Idaho because that's just home to me. So yeah, I hope I make Idaho proud. <laughs> You certainly do, Alyssa. And like I had mentioned, Alyssa will head to Colorado Springs in January to compete for a spot on the U.S. international team. And if she continues to thrive, she'll have a chance to be selected to represent Idaho and the United States in the 2024 Olympics. To follow along with her journey, look up MK Boxing in Caldwell, and we'll be sure to follow up with Alyssa and JR as well.